Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all keeping well and safe. So today I'm doing a tag video. Now this one is a little bit more different because I think it touches on a subject that's a little more serious and um, it was actually created by the lovely Andre, and I was tagged by the beautiful Ada Sully Styling. So thank you so much ladies and I will of course link their channels in the description box below. And the topic of discussion is, are YouTubers narcissists? Hmm. <laughs> well, if you want to know what my thoughts are, then stay tuned. So, are YouTubers narcissists? Well, in a word, no. And my argument is that, um, well, I think, you know, there are probably some narcissists who are YouTubers because it's a huge, huge platform. But isn't that the same with every industry? And therefore, I think it's simply wrong to paint everybody with the same brush. And I think also it helps to actually know the definition of what a narcissist is. Now, according to dictionary.com, I've got the app downloaded onto my phone, a narcissist is a person who is overly self-involved and often vain and selfish, or a person who suffers from narcissism deriving erotic gratification from admiration of their own physical or mental attributes. Wow, I mean, that is a pretty heavy label to slap on anybody, especially those you don't actually know. Now, you might be thinking, well, you know, I've been following certain YouTubers for many years, or I watch their videos all the time. I think I know them pretty well. Do you? At the end of the day, you know, all content creators will only show you on screen what they actually want you to see. That doesn't mean you actually know who they are in real life, okay? Because I, you know, I, I guess I can only speak for myself. Um, when I do YouTube videos, I mainly talk about uh, things that makes me happy, which are, you know, handbags, other luxury goods. Uh, sometimes in the past, I've done a lot of uh, vlogging when I've been out and about. I have um, shown videos of when I went on vacation with my family. So you've seen, some of you who followed me for a long time would have seen maybe even my parents my, and my family. Um, but at the end of the day, you still only get to see what I choose for you to see. Do you see what I mean? Um, and you know, I'd like to think that how I am on screen is pretty much how I am as a person, you know, in real life. But at the same time, I am only human. And that means there'll be times when I'm really stressed, I'm tired, and I'll be screaming at my kids. And believe me, there's a lot of those times. <laughs> but I'm not necessarily going to show that on camera because it's irrelevant to my channel, right? So therefore, when you see me on screen, I am mostly, you know, bubbly and happy because I'm talking about things that I love. So naturally, that's going to make me happy and it's going to make me smile. And of course, you know, there are other YouTubers who would probably, you know, show you um, everything about their life, warts and all. But maybe that's what their channel is about. And even then, I'm pretty sure they don't show everything, right? So they still hold back some things. So therefore, can you really call somebody a narcissist if you don't truly know them, okay? Now, another point that I would like to make is that I think most YouTubers who create content, a lot of the times is for um, educational purposes as well. Like, you know, there are a lot of channels that teaches you how to do things like cooking or DIY. Um, or, you know, servicing your car or making things. And that's really just kind of sh sharing your own knowledge of what you're passionate about. And when you 
have put time and effort into creating content that you share with other people, I think it is nice to be acknowledged for your efforts. So I think there's a huge difference between people who might do YouTube just purely out of, you know, craving attention and wanting to be adored and those who just genuinely want to share their interest with other like-minded people. There's a huge difference. And if you say that, well, I don't care for attention, I don't care for acknowledgement. Well, next time you put time and effort into cooking a delicious meal, you tell me that you don't want somebody telling you, that was delicious, I really enjoyed that, thank you so much for cooking. Or next time you go into work and you've been busting your backside on a project that you've spent so long on and you made the deadline, you tell me that you don't want some acknowledgement or praise from your boss, right? It's the same thing. We all do things and we all make efforts into doing something and we want to be acknowledged for it. Doesn't mean that we crave desire or for attention, it's just human nature to want to feel appreciated, okay? So I think there's a big difference in that and somebody who, who just goes outright, you know, wanting to be adored and ah, oh. You know, I mean, of course, I think there are certain YouTubers who have reached that kind of real celebrity status and they have millions and millions and millions of fans, then and, but at the same time, you know, they, they have built this kind of like a persona that they, they portray. But again, it would be hard to, to call them or judge them in any way because their fans love their, the character that they portray. Again, it might not be a true reflection of who they really are. But if, they, if there are fans who love them for that, then who are we to judge, right? And another point is that a lot of people who've actually been doing YouTube for a long time and now they are actually doing it full time and earning good money from it, I think credit should be given where credit is due because if this is their main source of income and they're doing something that they're passionate about and they truly enjoy and they are making money from it, I think that's fantastic. You know, who are we to judge them for it? And why would we even want to judge them for it? We should be supporting people who are doing well. And I just feel that it's so sad that we are living in a, a growing culture where people just want to tear other people down. You know, those that they see as successful, we feel like, somehow they're not deserving. But why are they not deserving if they've actually worked hard and they've built their channel up through years of hard work, through you know really spending time um, putting it together, creating the content, why do they not deserve it, right? Do we think that they can really do better? Do we think that you know we are the ones who are deserving and not them? Why do we feel there's a need to um, judge others and tear people down. I really, really don't get it. You know, I really don't. And I guess that leads me to um, <laughs> those who watch other people's channels, okay, and they might not necessarily enjoy the video, but they continue watching anyway, only just to leave negative comments or they troll that person or they give them a dislike. I, I really don't get that because for me, if I click on a channel that maybe I've not seen before and let's say within 10 or 20 seconds, it doesn't really gain my interest. As a normal person, I would just click off and move on, right? That's the normal thing to do. But there are those who feel the need to kind of continue watching. Only at the end of it, they would then, it's almost as if they say, ooh, I don't like what that person has to say. I'm gonna give them a dislike. What does it mean? <laughs> what does it even mean, right? I, I mean, 
<laughs> I, I don't understand the frame of mind of somebody who would actually go to that trouble of watching the video they don't enjoy and then disliking it at the end of it. I really don't get it. So I, I just think it's kind of funny, actually. So I guess for those people, I have a challenge for you. If you are watching, that is. And that is try starting your own channel and put yourself in the public eye and see how well you do with your videos. Are you game? Are you brave enough? Probably not. Because from what I've seen, a lot of these trolls are those who just hide behind their keyboards. And I just think that's kind of sad, really. So, you know, for the rest of us, if you enjoy what you do and, you know, you just love sharing your hobby and your passion with other like-minded people, just keep doing it sort everyone else and I know this has turned into maybe a little bit of a rant and I didn't mean it to but I just felt that you know it is an interesting topic and um, and I think we all have our thoughts on it and I just wanted to leave you with a quote and that is no matter what people think of you keep singing your own song because life is short and then you die <laughs> You know, that is the truth. So if you love what you do, just keep doing it. And those people who don't agree with what you do or like what you do, well, you know what? They can go suck on lemons or something. <laughs> anyway, um, I know this is a, a tag video, but um, I don't really want to put anyone under pressure by tagging them because I know this is a topic that can be a little bit sensitive. So if you want to uh, share your thoughts on this topic then please tag yourself and uh, go ahead and and uh, and do the this video because i would be interested in hearing your views as well uh and for those of you who would rather not then that's also fine so i would leave it entirely up to you and uh, those of you who watch my video uh once again, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do give me a thumbs up because it does help with the algorithm. And uh, once again, I'm so excited to finally have reached uh, 1,000. It's, it's crazy. I mean, it's only taken me three years, right? So it's about time. But once again, I want to thank all of you who continue to support me and encourage me. I am so, so thankful. And uh, the giveaway is still happening and I will choose a winner at the end of May. So if you haven't yet entered, it's not too late to do so. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take good care and don't forget to smile. Bye bye.